I wish I had this photo of what I looked like when I got the part. I, it is, so you're like, who is this? Like, I'm on a beach and it's just gross. It's just, it's just so horrible. Uh, but yeah, like you said, it's, it was the first time that I ever really needed to assemble uh, a team of people around me to help me build this character. Other times I felt like I could, um, you know, kind of go instinctually through a lot of the scenarios, but with something like this, yeah, exactly. I was boxing four hours a day. I had an accent dialect coach. I was doing about an hour a day. I was doing two hours of weights. Well, what is, sorry, what is an accent dialect, uh, dialect accent coach dialect, for, for one hour a day? Yeah, so I went to, I mean, are there any NYU kids in here? Anybody? Cool. Yeah. So I was, yeah, I was Tish in Strasburg and then Stone Street. And when I was in Strasburg, you know, you take an accent dialect class. At least I did. And yeah, you, know, you get to work on a bunch of different things. I always felt like I had a pretty good ear for it. Um, the Providence accent is very specific. And you just go and you do, you know, you do it phonetically. And you, you learn, okay, yeah. The, uh, so you got like Long Island, Boston, and, and Providence. And you've got like, uh, you know, Long Island's more like aw. And then, you, and then Providence is more ah. And then uh, Boston's like flatter. <laughs> so, you know, it's Providence, Providence, Providence. It's three different things, and, and it's a very, Rhode Island is such a specific accent, but that community is so proud. And especially the Italian community in, in uh, Providence and Cranston and Rhode Island, they're so, yeah, they're very proud of their uh, community there, and they're rarely put on screen, so you don't want to bastardize this accent. You want to make sure you get it. So I hired a, yeah, accent dialect coach, and you go and work on the sounds. Thank you.